Previously, we saw how elastic potential energy in two coil rubber bands could be used to power a car. In this experiment, we will try to produce similar results by using a slingshot method. A few modifications have been made to this car, one of which is to release these two rubber bands that might obstruct the movement of the car. Secondly, I've added something underneath which will hold on to the rubber band before the car is released. This piece of plywood also has a rubber band chain attached to its edge, which will act as a slingshot for the car. So let's see how it works. So the rubber band will be attached to the bottom of the car, like so, and the car is pulled backwards. Upon release, you'll we'll realize that elastic potential energy has been converted to kinetic energy. However, the distance covered this time can't quite compare to what we've achieved in the previous experiment. Hopefully, by using a larger piece of plywood and a longer rubber band chain, we will be able to replicate those results. Lastly, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.